it was just it was so adorable um he even had like a little cane with him at a point because um he like hurt hurt his leg or something like that the whole thing worked and his little flannels and stuff that he'd wear on set <laughs> and then also he'd, like get on the edge of his seat whenever he would get the shot that he wanted and he'd be like cut cut now <laughs> Hello, this is Kai Spoli with JoeBlow.com. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm great. Um, well, it's a fitting time for this interview because Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is out on Blu-ray and 4K today for yes. everyone to grab their physical copy. And yes. this is yes, this is coming after a very impressive box office run, over $950 million at the global box office. I just have to ask you, how does it feel to even be a part of something this massive and this huge? I mean, it's a little crazy to me. <laughs> it's really funny. I've actually realized recently um, just how much it's like, to me, it's like, I, oh, I just worked on this project and, you know, I'm, I'm just a person who worked on a project. And then I don't realize until, you know, I'm walking on the street and there's people who like recognize me and like tell me, you know, oh, you did amazing. And it's, just, it's wonderful to see, you know, someone like you on screen and I feel so seen and it's just like, wow, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> you know, um, and, and just so in impactful. And um, I just, I truly just can't believe I did that. <laughs> speaking, um, speaking with uh, like acting with some of these heavyweights, what did you take from working with people like you know, Benedict Cumberbatch, Elizabeth Olsen, Benedict Wong, Rachel McAdams? I mean, there were so many people on this film that you could have learned from uh, at different times. So what was it like kind of, you know, taking in some of the knowledge that they were giving to you while on set? I mean, it was just pretty insane um, just to watch them do their thing um, and get into character because, you know, I grew up with these superheroes my entire life you know I looked up to them I had action figures of them but to actually see them as actors and actresses doing their job and like getting into the character is a whole other a whole other thing um you get to see it in this other point of view and I was just like wow they they just give it their all and um and it was really important for me because I I mean obviously I was young and so I was I thought I was giving it my all I was like I'm doing it um but it wasn't until I saw them because they I mean they are professional actors and actresses so watching them like really dive into it and see how much they thought about it and see how much work they put into their choices and stuff I was like okay I really got to step up my game and so it's like I, when I got home from set I was like figuring out like okay how do I feel how does my character feel and like um just really going for it and um I found myself like really going for it on all the stunt stuff that I wanted to make sure it looked believable um especially with Elizabeth Olsen I mean, her stuff looks so good. And I was like, well, look at what she's doing. She's going for it and she's doing it. And so I made it my effort to go there and do it. And if it's, if it's too big and it's too crazy, I can always take it down. I can travel the multiverse. What? That's a problem. I don't know how. Can't control it. Only happens when I'm really, really afraid. Um, uh, the good thing about you bringing up working on the stunts and everything, this movie is so heavy on action and effects and all that. Um, yeah. what was that process like for you trying to like, kind of, you know, I know there's like a lot of like imagination that you gotta have, you gotta have to have that like, you have to trust, like what is going to be going on, uh, in the, you know, in the final product. Right. So what was it like kind of being like, all right, this is what they're telling me <laughs> it's supposed to be happening in this like kind of heavy effects scene. Like, you know, how do you kind of get there like mentally in order to get your imagination to work the way it needs to? Yeah, well, what's really awesome is that um, Sam had the whole movie pre like had a pre like previst, so um, it was kind of like this cartoon version of what it was actually going to be like, and that was really helpful for me because I'm very visual, so seeing it and also just like blocking it out and like really walking around in the space and really feeling like I know what I'm going to be doing in the scene and all that. Um, and also, what helped is that a lot of the sets were actually um, like fully built like uh the New York Street that was like all full like that was real the only thing that was kind of fake about it like CGI was the tops of the buildings um so everything else was <laughs> like real and the action scenes were all like I mean 
practical, meaning that they were like actually blowing stuff up and like turning cars over and crashing trees down and stuff. It was really cool. Um, but there, especially that one scene where I was like running down New York street and things were just crashing down and all that. Um, we only had one shot to do that. So it was kind of like, you had to get it done. And it was really insane to see, you know, all the people who worked in special effects and VFX, just watching that scene and like cheering and clapping that they got all that, that they got it and all the special effects and stuff went off like they were supposed to. It's like, wow, it's, it's a lot of work to get it all done. <laughs> you know, a lot of us, you know, when this movie was announced and, then, and we found out that Sam Raimi was going to direct it, like we were all super excited. I, I mean, I'm a big Sam Raimi fan, just yeah. going back to his stuff back in the day with like Evil Dead and of course the Spider-Man movies and all that. Um, yeah. Him getting to do this was like a dream come true for us. So yeah. I was wondering what it was like, you know, working with him and what was he like as a director as well? Yeah. I mean, he, what I can say is that he is very collaborative, um, very collaborative guy. And so whenever I was like, you know, can I try this out? Can I try and do this? And um, he would say, yeah, let's try it. Like if, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And if it works, we got it and we can try it a different way. He was, um, and he's just also just a super sweet guy um you you just kind of like want to do things that will make him happy you know you just want to please him um right. and uh yeah I mean it was just it was so adorable um he even had like a little cane with him at a point because um he like hurt hurt his leg or something like that and so it just like it just it just the whole thing worked and his little flannels yeah. and stuff that he'd wear on set <laughs> <laughs> it was and then also he could like get on the edge of his seat whenever he would get the shot that he wanted and he'd be like cut cut now and it's like <laughs> in this old-timey voice it was it, yeah sweet. he's a very sweet guy <laughs> the nightmare begins i did what i had to do to protect our world you cannot control everything, Strange. You opened the doorway between universes. And we don't know who or what will walk through it. Well, I know there's so much, like, secrecy with all these projects and everything. I'm just going to ask you, what would you like to see uh, for America Chavez moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's a lot more to America and her story. Um, and I think there's, uh, she's got lots of stuff and we only really see like a brief introduction to America um but I'm very proud of you know how she's been received um and that people love her and want to see more uh so that really warms my heart because I she's got a lot of backstory that's just kind of waiting to be told um right. and she's got a lot more to discover about herself and her powers obviously <laughs> and her mom <laughs> and all that so um I'm just excited to see uh, uh just kind of what they're going to do with that. Of course, yeah. Um, well, they wrapped me up. I just wanted to say again, congratulations on the film. Uh, it's so cool to get to see someone have their moment like this, and you're mm -hmm. definitely having one. And I just want to say congratulations. And to everyone, if you want a physical copy of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, it's out right now. Pick it up. It is definitely worth a watch. And uh, our girl here is amazing in it. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for talking with me. <laughs>